Hey, we are less than two hours away from this solar eclipse happening for us here again. In case you're wondering, the next one will not occur until about 20 or 21 years from now, just depending on whether you want to travel to the western part of the United States or the southern part of the United States. We won't be seeing that much here in the eastern North Carolina at that point going forward for us here uh, again, peaking around 317 for us here, and then we are going to be looking for that uh, going on until about uh, four o'clock this evening as as we continue to see the potential for plenty of clear skies across the area for us here in eastern North Carolina. We've got the temperatures coming in into the upper 60s, low 70s as we speak right now. We are going to be looking at the high level clouds staying well off to the north and the west. No threat for us here in eastern North Carolina. Future track shows nothing but sunny skies for the most part here. Some of those high level clouds start to work in later on this afternoon and this evening after we get uh, by this uh, eclipse for us here. And then those clouds do continue to increase as we go into the afternoon hours for us here. A lot of cloud cover is going to be across the area for us tomorrow. Live look air in Moorhead City. Looks like I got a prescribed bird going on there around the Croatan. That's about the only action we're going to be seeing uh, blocking the sky for us this afternoon. We'll see those temperatures upper 60s and near that 70 degree mark and those southwesterly winds helping to really warm us up. Getting those temperatures in the upper 60s along the coastal areas for us here, about 10 degrees warmer than that with those southwesterly winds and sunshine for inland spots. Overnight tonight, looking at those temperatures remaining in the mid to upper 50s, so much warmer than where we have been the last couple mornings. Showers, clouds, more so across the northern part of the mid-Atlantic states, not really coming over the mountains until after the eclipse. But eventually, the storm system will start to work its way towards us here. The high pressure giving us this warm temperatures. And more importantly, the dry weather throughout this past weekend moves off towards the Bahamas. As it does, it's eventually going to allow this front to make its way in here. We'll get a lot of the high middle level clouds from that and also the potential of some of those uh, showers periodically. Uh, maybe a spotty shower tomorrow, a slight chance of a shower on Wednesday. Better chance though Thursday as the storm system starts to pull up out of the Gulf of Mexico and heads towards us here. Depending on the timing of it and how it comes out, one piece or two pieces, that might allow us to see some strong to severe storms. We'll keep you alerted to that. Another chance of some th showers or thunder showers on Friday. Otherwise, though, sunshine and warm temperatures will persist through the upcoming weekend.